Hello everyone, this is Evan and this is the first of a series of Pricejack tutorial videos I'm going to publish in this channel. Today is uh, Friday, February the 3rd, 2017. Uh, let me just say that Pricejack is a working project. It is constantly being developed and updated with new elements and features. So please make sure you're watching the latest video or the latest version of this video. You will find the version of the video on its title. So to begin with, Pricejack is a suite of programs with a common user interface, which is intended to help you manage and automate most of the functions of your dropship arbitrage business. I'm going to cover the concept of dropshipping in future videos, but for the time being, I assume that you already know what dropshipping is and that you most probably are looking for a software that will cover your business needs. Uh, in this video, I'm going to present very briefly the many functions and features of Pricejack so that you will get an idea of what the software can or cannot do. In future videos, I'm going to cover each feature in uh, detail uh, providing not only more information and how-tos, but also hints and tips on how to best use these features. Without further ado, let's start with, a, with the first screen. Let's uh, sign in to our account. This is the first screen where you sign in, you uh, put your credentials, and you click on Login. Now, the very first uh, page is where you should uh, visit I suggest that you visit uh, at least once a day where you see all the news and this is a helpful for today's video. Uh, this is where it shows what are briefly the abilities what uh, Pricejack will allow you to do. Uh, it actually will allow you to have a store uh, either on Amazon, US, UK or Canada, a Shopify store or an eBay store. Uh, and you can have sources, you can have listings which you buy, which you sell through your stores from, as you can see here, Amazon US, UK, Canada, Walmart, AliExpress, BH Photo Video, Sears, Overstock, and Best Buy. It also supports the following functions. The first one is listing creation, where you can list uh, either per item or in bulk items from all these sources to your eBay store, eBay US, UK or Canada store, uh, to your Shopify store or to your Amazon store. Uh, this can be done very quickly. Of course, we're going to cover this in future videos. Uh, it also allows repricing. Uh, repricing is uh, where uh, it's, a, it's an automatic function of Pricejack where you can, uh, where Pricejack checks very frequently, like even half an hour, uh, the availability of a listing and the price of a listing, so that when you get the order in your store, you don't have a problem fulfilling that order if it's out of stock from at, at the source, uh, or you lose money if uh, the price has uh, increased. Uh, so this is taken care of uh, by price yet. And, of course, we have auto-ordering, where Pricejack will allow you to auto-order without, you can auto-order within a few seconds from these stores that you see, not Sears, Overstock, and Best Buy yet. But as I told you, Pricejack is a, is a working project, and these guys, they're working very hard on the software, and they add new features each and every day. Now, <clears throat> let's uh, move on, and let's go to our store where uh, clicking on view store you can you can have many stores here you can have uh, as i said ebay us uk canada amazon uh, shopify store so you click on the store that you want to see or set uh, the settings now uh, this is the the main screen of price Shack, where you have here uh, you have the tabs of the features that uh, are supported and uh, this is the main screen where you uh, set whatever it is that you're setting at the, the specific uh, option. Now, here we have the store settings where you, you get the general store settings uh, where you, you can set 
the repricing, you can enable repricing and enable auto ordering. Okay, don't forget to uh, click on save settings uh, after you enable or disable any of these uh, features. Now, you can have specific settings for each of the sources that PriceYak uh, is supporting. These are the sources, as I said. So by clicking on each one of them, you can have specific settings for each one of them. And of course, we're going to cover them uh, very uh, precisely and in detail in future videos. Uh, auto ordering settings, where you set uh, all the, 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 the auto ordering preferences uh, for your uh, store from, uh, from the source. And the listing settings, uh, where you uh, set your preferences for any listings uh, that you want to create. Uh, you can uh, set uh, your template, for example. Here is uh, uh, one example where you have different templates uh, to store, to list, excuse me, on to list in your on your eBay store or your Shopify store. This is where you set the listings and everything uh, needed for uh, the listings of different items. Now, in create listings, uh, as you can see, you have these uh, options, create listings, listing requests, and listing settings. This is uh, where you, this is the main screen where you create listings. And this is uh, the screen for bulk listing, uh, you, usually. You, this is where you enter a, a, a number of for example, ASINs from Amazon US, but you can choose whatever you want. Amazon UK, Canada, as I said, these are the sources supported uh, from uh, PriceYak. And this is where you enter the ASINs, for example, if you choose Amazon US. And uh, you can have like 100, 200, even 500, uh, thousands of uh, ASINs. And just by clicking list now, these uh, listings, these items will be uh, automatically listed in your eBay store, uh, provided that you have the limits and everything, but um, it will be listed in your eBay store within a few seconds. Uh, the other option is to review and list, where you are allowed to uh, review each listing before it, it is actually posted in your eBay store or any other store where you can change the title, where you can um, uh, change uh, or delete uh, photos or change uh, uh, certain uh, description items of your list. In, um, in the next tab, current listings, uh, you have, well, in effect, different windows of your listings. You can see all your listings. Here, the second one, the listing performance, is a very helpful and useful screen uh, where you can check the performance with various factors of each and every of your listing. You can keep listings, uh, you can keep items that are performing well, or you can delete some that are not performing well. This is a useful feature of PriceYak, and we're going to uh, invest at least a couple of videos explaining exactly how you can use it and give you some hints and, hints and tips uh, on uh, how to uh, use this feature in the best possible way. Where uh, The next one is where you see the out-of-stock listings because it happens at the source that some of the listings are out of stock. Also, listing with overrides. Uh, we're going to explain the override feature and we're going to give you a few examples of what override is and how you can use it and maybe some hints and tips. This next feature, listing with overrides, is very important. Uh, very nice uh, feature because PriceYak allows you to have a specific profit margin and the minimum uh, profit per item so that you can set a specific marketing strategy per item. Very helpful feature. And we're going to invest uh, some videos uh, on that too. The next one, the orders, is actually uh, where you see all your orders, where you set the auto ordering preferences per source. 
Uh, the next one, fixed problems, is a very useful feature. It allows you to do a multitude of uh, different tasks very easily. The first one is track unknown and tag listings. You might have some listings that are from items that you have entered in your store manually and uh, you need to know which ones are the ones that Pricejack uh, cannot track. Track listings with invalid uh, IDs. Well, this is uh, where Amazon, for example, changes the ASIN of a specific item and then the connection between this item at the source with your item in your eBay store, for example, is lost and you need to know which listing is this and, of course, uh, fix it. And we're going to cover this in future video. The list duplicate listings. This is, this is a very nice feature. If uh, for any reason you have duplicate listings in your stores, especially on eBay store where you're not allowed to have duplicate listings, this is going to be very easily detected and corrected. The list pool performers. This is an excellent feature of Pricejack. It will allow you to see which of the, your items of your listings are not performing very well and it will allow you to uh, filter them. It will allow you to delist them with you know, various filters. Uh, we're going to cover this with uh, a lot of detail and uh, we're going to invest at least a couple of videos to explain to you how useful this feature is so that you can have only the best uh, performing listings in your store. Uh, failed revisions, we're going to talk about this in the future. Reauthorized store where for any reason uh, you, you, you lose authorization uh, of your store. I mean, when I mean uh, authorization, I mean um, uh, where you give the, um, the permission to Pricejack uh, to uh, reprice and edit any of your listings in your store. And this one, oh, this one is handy because uh, it will allow you to report any issue without sending an email, without spending a lot of time. Just click here and all your details are um, already filled out for you. And all you have to do is write the subject, explain the problem that you're facing, and just click on report issue and you're done. Here on help, if you click on help, you will uh, get to the help pages of Pricejack, uh, where you will see uh, frequently asked questions and links to videos explaining the use of Pricejack. And here, the, the last one is the search bar, where you just enter an ASIN or a, an eBay uh, item ID, where you can search and find uh, each item that you want to watch. Uh, or edit, or delete, or whatever. So this was a very brief introduction to the features of Pricejack. I will uh, see you in future videos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of my new videos. And have a great day and lots of profitable sales.